Well, thanks for visiting us this morning at KTALnews.com and your Weather Authority app. I'm meteorologist Josh Marses, and this is your Tuesday morning forecast update. Some great weather taking over today. It's a little cooler this morning, but we've gotten rid of the humidity behind yesterday's cold front and with some sun coming back later today. Should feel great. We'll have a light breeze out there. I wouldn't say it's going to be overly windy, but you'll feel a breeze out there. But with uh, sunshine, Temperatures in the 70s, it will kind of feel warm today, so that breeze will feel pretty nice for us. But our cold front continues to move southeast and away from the region. We have high pressure building in today, just kind of expanding like a big balloon across the region here. So that will continue to nudge the clouds away from us this morning. You'll notice some clouds early in the day, but the sunshine is coming back for us. And as that high kind of expands, it's sending in that dry north wind, which is pushing the humidity out of here. So the wind's initially pretty light this morning, but may have the winds up to about 15 miles per hour this afternoon. So that north breeze, it is pushing in some cooler air. We're down to 46 in Idabel. Uh, likely at sunrise here, most of us will be in the 50s. You may want something with long sleeves till about 9 or 10 in the morning today, but uh, definitely could get away with some t-shirt weather this afternoon. We have highs forecast to reach the low and mid 70s just a gorgeous day for us and uh, taking into account the low humidity as well it should be a great day uh, do some things outside today as well as tomorrow so look at your robin's to future cast takes that cloud cover and kind of scoops it up and sends it out of here by uh, late morning early afternoon so there's the sunshine for you as we go through the afternoon hours winds will die down a bit uh, tonight as well as tomorrow as the wind should settle in below 10 miles per hour and nothing but sunshine in your Wednesday forecast as well. So it should be another great day with low humidity on Wednesday as uh, highs tomorrow likely going to stay in the mid to upper 70s. So warming up a few degrees, but uh, some pleasant weather here for the uh, next few days. Your lows tonight will be in the 40s. So look out for a pretty cold night here, especially for this time of the year. It's actually not too far from uh, some record lows. We typically don't get lows low to mid 40s this time of the year, but uh, one more night to enjoy kind of those cooler temperatures before we start to warm it up late in the week. And as we head into the weekend, Thursday will actually be a pretty nice day as well, but we'll really start to feel that humidity come back on Friday. And we have a couple of weather disturbances that will move through this weekend, including maybe a front that will stall near us late Sunday into Monday. So I haven't changed the outlook for the weekend. It looks like maybe a lower rain chance for Saturday. We'll start to see maybe Maybe an increased chance for some showers and storms Sunday and Monday. And this will be driven kind of by the heat of the day. So I'd expect these will be mainly afternoon and evening thunderstorms this weekend into early next week. At this point, we can't rule out severe weather, but it doesn't look like anything we can completely rule in at this point as well. So uh, just something we'll have to continue to monitor at this point, especially late this weekend, early next week. And uh, highs will be back into the 80s despite the rain as we go through the weekend.